to pick up up smells. Feelers also help insects to feel their way around. And insect feelers are on its head and are also called antenna. Amazing eyes. A fly has very special eyes. It can see upward, downward, backward, and forward all at the same time. This is why flies are so hard to catch. Oh, no wonder. It can see you even if it's turning its back away from you. Yeah. They, uh, they can see all around their eyes. Well, how, why do we get, why do we kill the flies? Because when the they flies. don't think that we're quick. Do you know? Where are crickets' ears? Oh, on top. On the front um, of its legs. <gasps> yeah, actually, that's right, that's right. Which insects lights up? The firefly. No, it's a female glowworm. Oh, yeah, the glowworms does too, but a firefly does too, you know. <laughs> Who builds giant's nest? Termites. <gasps> yeah, that's true. Our, yeah, that's true. Our tiny insects, but they build giant nests called mines. They can be up to 6 meters, 20 feet tall. And are made from tiny bits of mud stuck together with termites. Yeah. Millions of termites live inside. Some mounds are only 50 years old. That's disgusting. They, they spit in there mm -hmm. <laughs> all around. And then they get. They, they live go, in there. They live well, in the spit, spit is like the glue of the wood. Oh. Spit and paper. Some wasps make their nest out of pa 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 papier mache. Oh, papier mache. They grow. Chow. I mean, chew. Not chow. Chew. Chew, okay. <laughs> uh, strips of wood to make paper and mash it together with dollops. Of spit. Mount maze. Inside a termite mine is a maze of tunnels and rooms. The queen has her own big room. Big soldier termites protect the man against enemies, usually ants. So this is where, where do baby scorpions ride? So this is where queen termite is. Queen termite. Right, where do baby scorpions ride? Baby scorpions ride around on their mother's back to keep them safe. They travel like this until they are old enough to look after themselves. True or false? <coughs> oh, dung beetles. Dung beetles lay their eggs on a leaf. False. That's false, actually. That is false. For dung beetles roll up balls of animal dung um, and lay their eggs inside dung balls. When the babies hatch, they have lots of dung to eat. Oh, that's smart. That's clever. Well, why are they eating their babies? No, they don't eat babies. They bury it in the dung because the dung term beetles eat dung. That's their food. So when the baby hatch, they have food already because they bury the baby in the dung. What is a caterpillar? It's a baby butterfly. Yeah, that's right. Butterfly babies do not look like their parents. They're far away. Their bodies have Closer. to go. Closer. True. Amazing changes. 
over many weeks before they are fully grown and look like a butterfly. Here you can see how a butterfly grows. This special way of growing is called metamorphor. I mean metamorphosis. Try again. Metamorphosis. Wait, metamorphosis. Wait, wait. I was gonna say that. Next. All right, try it. Metamorphosis. All right, very good. Step one. Laying eggs. A female butterfly lays her eggs on a leaf. Step two. Hatching out. The eggs hatch into caterpillars. Step three. Eating lots. The caterpillars munch on the leaves and grow very quickly. Step four. Hanging out. Each caterpillar makes itself a hard case called a pupa. Flying out. Inside the pupa, the caterpillar changes into a butterfly. The pupa splits open and the butterfly flies out. Oh, it takes 50 days. So, day 50, they fly into a butterfly. No. That's what it is. See? No, From because, the beginning, first it was an egg, no, because, then in the hatch into a caterpillar. Because when we had caterpillar and they turned into a butterfly, it only took like seven days or eight days. Well, that was already, when you were watching the caterpillar, it was already like this. It was already like this. No, no. It was not from the beginning, the, the laying eggs. No, it was already, it, it was already hatching out the eggs in caterpillars. No, no I was saying a it's a caterpillar, not a cocoon. Right. Yeah. All right, next. As a butterfly, a fly? As a butterfly, a fly? No, it's not. Flies have only one pair of wings. Butterflies, bees, and dragonflies have two pairs. Insect wings are all shapes, color, and size. Sizes. They are crisscrossed by tiny hollow tubes that make them strong enough for flying. Many butterflies have brightly color, colored wings with bright shapes and patterns. Heavy flyer. Bees should not be able to fly because the body is too heavy. Too big and heavy. For the light wings, but they can fly very well. But it's really far away, so that's why it's too much. Flying record. Monarch butterfly fly from Canada to Mexico every year. That's more than 3,500 kilometers, kilometers, or 2,175 miles. All right, which ends it? Wait, wait, wait. But that's that, but that's... Less than 3,500, 2,175. Yeah, because uh, that's kilometers. In conversion, that's in miles. Oh. All right, which insect? Zooms. In Australia, there are dragonfly that can reach long. It can reach the top speed of... 58 kilometers, 36 miles an hour. This means it can overtake a galloping horse. Oh my goodness. Mm. The dragonfly can fly the faster than a galloping horse? Wow. Wow. But the car could go faster than that, though. And a motorcycle could definitely go Wow, faster. dragonfly that can fly. 50, yeah, but a jaguar, 36 miles an hour? Yeah, a cheetah or a jaguar could beat them, but they can only go 36 and they can go 70. All mean, right. They go over 70. Who is humming? You can tell when the mosquito is nearby, nearby. Uh, the humming sound it makes. Yeah, a cricket hum, right? The cricket.
They make the noise. They honk. It, yeah, its wings. Its wings make this noise. Is they are beating so fast. <laughs> Do you know? No. It's, it's a, a butterfly, butterfly a fly. I know. Can a dragonfly fly faster than a galloping horse? Yes. Yes, some can. Singing, singing wings. wings. Some male grasshoppers sing by rubbing their wings against their legs. They sing to attract females. <laughs> That's silly. Which insects jump? Grasshoppers. Definitely, definitely, that's right, that's right, definitely, <laughs> right. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are excellent jumpers. They have long, strong back legs, which they use to help them spring into the air to escape from enemies. Enemies. Grasshoppers push themselves up with their back legs and leap into the air from when they're sitting. Long jumpers. Some grasshoppers jump about 20 times their body length. Human long jumpers leap about five times their body length. When do bees like to dance? When they find food. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me. Bees fly back. Your nest and they, just when the rice is done, though, you you jump up in the air <laughs> <laughs> and start and dancing. Start dancing. All right. This Can dance. Fly? No, this dance. This dance. Chills. You said this dance. Okay? Yeah. This dance tells other bees where they can find the food. <coughs> can spiders fly? <laughs> yes. Stop doing that. You don't do Bones that. Bones on, so right. Yeah. <laughs> Can spiders fly? Yeah. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Read. They don't have wings, but they do fly. What? When some baby spiders hatch, they spin a long silk thread. The baby spider hangs on onto the thread and floats off the breeze to find a new home. They can travel far like this. I didn't know spiders could fly. True or false? Some ants march and use armies. True, true. That's true. They have armies. True. true. Swarms of army ants march through rainforests, eating anything that gets in their way. An army may have as many as one and a half, half and a half, half million ants. It means one million five hundred thousand. Cockroach racers. Some cockroaches are the road record runners. They can spread along at speeds of about five, five and a half kilometers, three and a half miles. You no running, running is as fast as a racing car. Stop skipping lines. Fast as a racing car, they only go three and a half miles. Miles. Who eats the carpet? Go faster than that. They go like a hundred miles. Carpet beetle babies. Carpet beetles lay their eggs in carpets. They time. I mean, they. Yeah. Where are we? The tiny hairy grubs that hatch out are called lily bears. What? 
woolly bear. Bear. And they chew holes in the carpet. While they are eating the carpet, woodworm could be eating the furniture. Woodworm beetles hatch inside furniture and chew tiny holes to crawl out. Careful moths. Some tropical moths have very unusual diets. They drink tears usually from animals such as horses, pigs, and deer. But they all, I mean, they will also drink tears from humans. Which fly, I mean, which spider fishes? The net casting spider. This spider spins a small, strong net of sticky threads. It holds at the net in its legs. When an insect passes, the spider throws the net over and traps the prey. <coughs> Which ants are flat? What? I mean, fat. <laughs> Why are there ants that are fat? What the? Some honey pot ants eat so much honey they swell up. Uh, they cannot move. So they hang from a nest roof. When the other ants get hungry, the honey pots squeeze out honey for them. Mm. What the? Do you know? Do you know which insect to get fat? A honey ant. Honey ant. Honey pot ant. Honey pot ant. Which insect eats? The furniture. Woodworm. No, that's for the, ca oh, yeah, the carpet. Oh, yeah, woolly beetles. No, I mean, that's wood the carpet beetle is the woolly bear. Woodworm beetles. <laughs> All right. Who fires a gas cloud? Bombarder beetles spread for enemies with What? A... What was that? Enemies. Okay. I said enemies, Mom. No, you said enemies. Enemies, I said, with a cloud of hot, stinging gas that they fire from the bottom. <laughs> the spray makes a pop sound, like a gun going off. <laughs> this type of beetle is an excellent, excellent shot. And it can swirl its bottom around to get a better aim. <laughs> it can let off up to 500 shots at a time. Oh, wow. Which baby lives in a bubble? Baby frog hoppers. <clears throat> the babies group together to make a clump. A white bubbles to cover themselves. The bubbles protect them from being eaten or drying out in the sun. Which insect froths at the mouth or smell? And smell. Lubber grasshoppers. When they are in danger, they froth at the mouth to make the breed smell terrible. The grasshopper can't fly away from its enemies, but its smelly breath keeps it safe. Why is it showing 9 and 10 on it? Ah, uh, it's the rule. It's uh, the rating, the rule, the forward rule. Forward rule. If a click beetle lands, why you say rule before it draw? All right. If a click beetle lands on its back, 
it just does a somersault onto its front again. It arches its back and then flips over with a hard, loud click. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Can you do a somersault? Wait, 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 wait. So, and they can also do a hissing handstands. One type of cockroach scares off its enemy by doing a handstand and hissing louder. Oh, wow. True or false, weevils fall off twigs if they are scared. True. True. If a weevil is in danger, danger, it drops off its perch and falls to the ground. It lies very still without moving, pretends to be dead. This is so that its enemies will leave it alone. Oh, that's very smart. Yeah, but then he might get... But then he might think he went to sleep. And then no, that was just an act, so mm -hmm. the enemy will leave them alone. Which this insect has petals? has petals. The flower mantis has wings that are shaped like petals. It looks and has the same color as a flower so that it can catch other insects to eat. When another insect comes along, it will land near the mantis because it thinks it's a flower. The mantis then pounces on it and eats it. Oh, very oh, clever. Yeah. The insects in this picture just look just like Please. leaves and flowers. The progeny. The praying? Well, it looks like progeny because, like, like I'm so far away, kind of. That's why I told you to come closer. And the thing. All right. Mantis looks like a twig. The butterflies look like leaves. There's butterflies that look like leaves? Yeah, right there. What the? Right here. Oh, my. They camouflage, you know? That's how they survive. Wait, butterflies camouflage? Yeah. Leaves? Look. Those are butterflies. A lot of butterflies. And the praying mantis. This looks like a flower, but that's a praying mantis. Hey, right. Really? Yeah. Oh, why? Why are some insects invisible? Some insects are the same color as the surroundings. This makes them look almost invisible, and their enemies can't see them. This is called camouflage. Oh, they turn yeah, just the, like a gecko. So they turn the same color as their enemies, and then uh, no. their enemies might no. think it's a shadow. Listen, they, they have their color like the leaves, so the enemies can see them, not enemies, right? Do you know? why well, are you said enemies. That's why I'm saying. I'm copying that. you. I'm correcting you. It's not enemies. It's enemies. Well, you said enemies, and then you said enemies. Now you're arguing. Why are insects camouflage? Where are we? Do you know? Do you know why do insects camouflage? What insects? So their enemies won't look see them. Like a twig. The praying mantis. The praying mantis. That's uh spider droppings. Spider dropping. Some spiders look just like a bird dropping, lying on a leaf. No wonder their enemies leave them alone. That's a mashed potato spider. You could eat that. And it has the legs to a mashed potato. Spider. Ew, gross. All right. <laughs> Frightening face. The pus moth caterpillar has a big, frightening, staring, staring eyes. To frighten away its enemies. These en are enemies. En enemies. These are not real eyes. We're only marking.
from flower to flower. This helps more plants to grow. Bees visit a flower to lap up nectar. While they're sitting on a flower, they get covered in pollen. They then carry this pollen to the next flower. This flower uses the pollen to make seeds that grow into new plants, <coughs> which insects can make people ill? Mosquitoes are tiny insects, and some of them can make you very ill. Yeah, just like having a dengue fever, that's from the mosquito. One kind of mosquito can spread a dangerous disease called malaria. malaria. Others can give you a nasty bite. I got a lot of bites uh -huh. from mosquitoes. And they're itchy. Which insects can cause a lot of damage? A swarm of locusts. Locust. That's what he said, Ma. But it's locusts. Okay. Because it says locusts. All right. Not just one. Like All right, five a swarm. Or like nine. All right. Swarm of is a, a, a you you're on the other one. I'm repeating what I already did. A swarm is many millions of locusts that eat huge amounts of food every day. If a swarm attacks a field, it can eat the whole crop in a few minutes. That's right. Hungry ladybugs. Gardeners love ladybugs. These insects help it to protect garden plants by eating the green flowers, which harms plants. Silken, mom, can you move your hand? All right. Silken insects. Silk is made by silkworms. We. The cutter? No, I'm just wiping. The caterpillars are silk moths. moths. We use the same silk to make cloths. True. true or false? Some people collect worms. True. True. Because you have asked, like, like they could go fishing with like the worms. All right. So they like have to put the worms on like the fishing hook, and then they get the fish. So okay. they need to bring worms. All right. Awesome. Birds bring worms too. Awesome job. Okay.